Hello. Today we want to solve the Holy Child School, the mock examination. That is the 2022 mock examination, the core math paper, question number three. That is what we want to solve today. So without wasting much time, let's start. Okay, now the question is, using the method of completing squares, solve, correct to two decimal places, the equation that we are having here. All right. So for us to solve this equation, what we can do here is we can do cross multiplication because we have one fraction on the left hand side and we have another fraction on the right hand side. Okay, whatever the you are having here, this numerator is going to multiply this and then this denominator is going to multiply this. All right, so we are going to get our x minus two multiplying the two x you bring your call to sign that 4 also multiplies the x plus 2. So you have your 4 multiplying the x plus 2. Now the next step is for you to expand. So 2x multiplies this x. That is going to give us 2x squared. The same 2x multiplies the minus 2 and that is going to give us minus 4x. You bring your equal to sign. 4 multiplies the x. That is going to give us 4x. The same 4 multiplies the 2 and that is going to give us positive 8. Now at this juncture, what we are going to do is, since the highest exponent of the variable there is 2, that is this particular one, it means that we are having quadratic equation. So let's rearrange it in the general form of the quadratic equation. Now the squared term will come first. So we are going to have our 2x squared minus 4x. We transpose the other 4x, so it becomes minus 4x. Minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, so now we are going to have our... 2x squared minus 8x minus 8 being equal to 0. From what we are having, you realize that there is a common factor, which is 2. So we can reduce the equation. Therefore, we divide this side by 2, this term by 2, by 2, by 2. Okay, and that is going to give us x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. All right. So at this juncture, we are having the quadratic equation, but the question wants us to use completing of squares. So what we are going to do is we are going to go through the steps for solving quadratic equation using the completing of squares. So the first step is you make sure the coefficient of the x squared term is positive 1. Yes, the coefficient here is 1. So that is satisfied. The second step, you shift the constant term to the other side of the equal to sign. What is the constant term? The constant term is what we are having here. So we are going to shift it to the other side of the equal to sign. Therefore, we are going to get our x squared minus 4x is equal to positive 4. Okay. Now, the second thing, we or the next thing we are going to do is we are going to find half of the coefficient of the x term. So, half of the coefficient of the x term. The x term is what? Negative 4. That is the coefficient of the x term. When you simplify this, this is going to give you negative 2. This negative 2, we are going to put it in brackets like this. We square that. Now, what we are having here, that is this bracket open negative 2 all squared. We are going to add it to both sides of this equal to sign. Okay, so we are going to have our x squared minus 4x plus, so we are adding the minus 2 all squared. We have added it to the left hand side. We bring our equal to sign again the positive 4 now we are adding again the minus 2 all squared again all right now after this step what we are going to do is we are going to write the perfect square expression from this side in fact the whole of this side this expression become what we call a perfect square expression so we are going to pick the variable in question that is the x we pick the minus 2 here, so minus 2. We put that in bracket all squared. So that is how we write a perfect square expression of the whole expression here. All right, we bring our equal to sign, then we simplify whatever we are having here. So we are going to have our 4 plus 4. Okay, so now we have our x minus 2 all squared is equal to 8. Since we are solving for x at this juncture, what we are going to do is we are going to take square root of both sides. So we take square root of this side, we take square root of this side. This two cancels this so that we get our x minus 2 being equal to plus or minus square root of 
8. We took the square root of both sides all because we wanted to get rid of the squared here. That is why. Okay. Now, let's solve for our x. We are going to have our x being equal to, you transpose the negative 2 to the other side. So it becomes positive 2 plus or minus square root of 8. Okay, the plus or minus is going to separate the two values because anytime you solve quadratic equation, you have to get two values. Therefore, you are going to get your x, one that is one of the x values being equal to 2 plus square root of 8. And then your second x value, that is the x2 being equal to 2 minus square root of 8. Okay, but the question wanted us to leave our answers in decimal. So 2 plus square root of when you tap it on your calculator, this is going to give us 4.83. Don't forget the question said to two decimal places. All right. And then for this one too, you are going to get our negative 0 0.83. That is to two decimal places. Okay. So this is how we can solve this particular question. All right. So thanks for your time. Bye-bye.